Right, a little while ago now I um, showed how I made a Heron engine similar to this one and um, that one worked really well and I was quite pleased with that. Since then I've seen this um, model on Banggood, it's the Microcosm Microscale T1B steam engine Hero of Alexandria and it's a very good little model, um, it comes as it is here in the um, chrome stand. The actual um, steam engine is made of heavy brass. I was actually quite surprised at the weight of it. And then you have a little screw top burn on here with a wick in it for the methylated spirits. So I've just put a couple of cc's of um, water in it now with the syringe that was provided. And let's see how well it runs. Well that was very good except it blew the top out there otherwise it would have carried on going for quite some more time I would think. And I think that's a really excellent little showpiece that is and um, I found that um, if you lower the wick a little bit it doesn't blow the top up like that. That was going pretty fast then and I think it's obviously too much pressure and it built up inside and pushed that up like a piston. And that is how you actually fill this one. You pull the top up that like that, take the steam engine out and I've put um, up to three cc's in it um, before and it worked perfectly. It goes for a nice long time, much longer than the one that I made. Um, this is the cap for the um, burner 
like you see you get the syringe with there and this one lifts out and it has a nice fine thread on it I think I've done that one up too tight there you go let's see how much is left in there yeah there's still some in there um, I was thinking that um, the engine could be improved a little bit to actually stop that um, top coming up I'll put three cc's in that one now so that one drops onto the pin and then that one pushes down through I was thinking um, I could actually um, make a little collar up here so you push it down through the collar and then just nip up a tiny little grub screw and that would actually prevent that from lifting up under pressure but I, um, I'll have a go at that sometime and see whether that works or not but apart from that I'm really actually I'm pleased with it and I think I'll have a go at making one similar to this and I really like a simple steam engine like this one here and I think I will um, probably continue to make um, different types of these um, I do quite like the um, steam engines that other people make the um, complicated ones that take maybe several years to make and um, I just haven't got the time uh, or the patience to actually make something like that but something simple like this is um, quite fascinating for me I like something that I can build in one or two days and I've just lowered the wick on that one and see how well it goes now
I think it's a bit of a draft blowing the flame off direction. So you can see there it's just a fine little adjustment of that wick moving it down a few millimeter so that the flame doesn't come up um, too high and make it go too fast and too much pressure um, when it goes really fast i've noticed it wobbles around a, a little bit and that's what probably loosens the top and then it um, obviously comes up but you can see there that that worked perfectly when it's set up correctly And like I say, it works much better than mine. I think having this um, three jet design is really good. And I've noticed that the jets are much finer than the one I um, built. So I think it's more powerful and more efficient. And I actually would like to make one um, similar to this, maybe a little bit bigger. And see if I can get one running as good as this one.